There's been lots of talk about witness care and protection, especially after a number of witnesses were either threatened and a few even killed. While authorities aren't taking this lightly, and today members of the judiciary, officers of the attorney general's office, the police force, and social services came together in a workshop to address the issue. Attorney General the Honorable Allison Maynard Gibson noted the crucial role witnesses play in providing prosecutors with evidence needed to bring justice. She noted that there may be times when witnesses and and their families are intimidated or bribed and for that reason she says witness care has become a major element of case management we in the office of the attorney general recognize that it is unreasonable to expect witnesses to come forward to give evidence unless they feel safe they are the persons who think that they saw a, a crime being committed and they have responded by calling the police They've given statements to the police, and now it's over to us preparing a case, and we need them, and you want them also, to actually come forward and give evidence. But if we, working together, can't assure their safety, of course, they're going to be concerned. And that is what witness care is at its root. The witness care program involves a working relationship between the AG's office and the police force. Commissioner of Police Ellison Greenslade recognizes the challenges facing witnesses and says recent laws allowing them to conceal their identity has proven beneficial. We have anonymity legislation in the country where a person can come forward privately, speak to someone that he or she trusts, and say, I want to give you information, I do not want to be known, I live in a difficult neighborhood, I live near to where these bad people are, and, and I fear for my life. But I'm prepared in privacy, if, if I can trust you, to tell you what I know, go on record, but at the point of trial, I would wish to remain anonymous. That can be done. The laws allow it. We've done it before successfully. Uh, your face is disguised, your voice is disguised, and the court accepts, uh, the court accepts the evidence very, very successful trials as a result of using um, on those processes. That's available to the public. Uh, beyond that, there are many persons who uh, are willing to stand up and say, I will testify and I will show my face because I care about the Bahamas. I stand for what is right and decent, and I'm not going to allow anyone to take my birthright or my children's birthright away from me. 